a cruise in the middle of the icebergs next to the Greenlandic town of Ilulisat, north of the Arctic Circle. In this spectacular scenery, specialists can already get evidence of the evolution of the ice cover. But above our heads, the ESA satellite Cryosat is monitoring the changes of the ice thickness around both South and North Poles. Well, Cryosat uh, is our ice mission. Uh, we try to uh, look on the one hand in the ice cap. So what is the change of the ice cap, uh, which is a very important measure for sea level rise. Uh, but we also want to look into sea ice coverage. Here in the Arctic, we have dramatic changes in the sea ice. The last uh, IPCC report from 2007 forecasted uh, uh, a reduction of set until the end of the century. But we see from our, our data data said it is much faster and this will again influence um, the current systems in the ocean and uh, we need to know what happens there. This is a very important parameter. From above satellites have already confirmed as shown that the ice melting is speeding up. This information can help the scientific community understand how our planet is affected by climate change. The World Wildlife Fund was in Greenland during the Cryosat validation campaign and values the accuracy of the data that can now be expected from the ESA satellite. The satellite data are extremely important because this new generation uh, satellite that you have just uh, put in place and the groundwork you do here on the ice sheet uh, really gives us a level of accuracy we haven't seen before. And since uh, it's pretty evident that the change in the ecosystem is uh, so far reaching, um, uh, it is important that we corroborate that evidence because it's important for the people of Greenland, it's important for uh, protecting biodiversity and it's important for policy makers is what you can do to help protect uh, the Arctic uh, ecosystem that is subject to so much change now. For many organizations dealing with environmental issues, missions like Cryosat are feeding the debates on climate evolution with solid data that cannot be questioned. The Netherlands, for example, are closely concerned by the potential sea level rise, as much of the country lies below sea level. This is why Prince Willem Alexander of the Netherlands is very much interested in the Cryosat results and what it could mean for water management. Water management is very close to my heart personally and uh, it is also the survival of the Netherlands depends on good adaptation to what happens in the climate. We know the climate is changing, we know the sea level is rising, of course we don't know how much and how much influence of mankind is in it, but that is, from my perspective, not that much that important. That is for the scientists to decide. For us it's important to adapt to the new situation we're going to face in the next centuries. Thanks to Cryosat, ESA can now give the best data on the thickness of the ice sheets and their evolution solid tools for a better understanding of our home planet health status.